All right, guys. Wesley versus David T. Semifinal matchup. Unstoppable tournament. Unstoppable live event. And it looks like Wesley is going to be getting the ball to start out. David T., I believe this is his second live event. But last time, he, I think he lost in the round of eight. I believe this is Wesley's first live event of this MCS season. We're going to go ahead and get into this. I believe uh, David T. is, looks like he's in dollar. Uh, going DB Fire type defensive look. Uh, we have not seen David T. in that. David T. was in 3-3-5 odd to make this event. Wesley is going to be in Lions playbook. Doing a lot of kind of what Fancy did. Short side bunch. Either flip it or... Audible to trips. I'm gonna flip it here. Looks like that stem stays. I didn't know that. Cover six Willie for David T. And David T, probably one of my favorite players to learn from in the community, if not my top player. I just think he he's one of those guys we, they talked about in the broadcast, but just a grinder. A guy that gets better every year. And um I think David T is one of those guys that gets better as the year goes on. Last year, I thought he was super, super good uh, right around Madden Bowl time. Just didn't make the Madden Bowl, but here we go. Kind of a new double corner. Actually, no, I'm going to go slant. And going to take that running back check down underneath. I'd be really interested to watch David T's defense. David T and Wesley, both of these guys have a really, really, really good switch stick. So there'll be a lot to learn. From that, uh, from that perspective as well. And I think that... I think that David T is rocking Seahawks and Falcons. But I think Wesley might be rocking a uh, Cowboys theme team. I'm not sure on that. Oh, look at that screamer off the edge. So one of the things that David T is doing... Is he is screaming out of DB Fire. If you take a look at this, this is a different type of DB Fire. Watch what he does. Actually, oh, okay, now he's in 3 to 5 odd. Was he, was he in 3? What was he in? Maybe he was in 3. I don't know what he was in. That was a different version of DB Fire. I think that was a 2 3. There's that motion RPO. I love that RPO out of Lions. And guys, if you were looking to take your Madden game to the next level, join our school community. That's where you get my full ebooks. I've got a Lions ebook in there. I've got a Vikings defensive ebook. I've got the dollar stuff, all that stuff. Pretty much everything you see these guys run, I have some variation of it in our school site. So if you're not a member yet, link is in the description. $10 gets you everything for college and for Madden. We'll send for Screamer. A lot of double drags. Mesh and Wes is... Going to get into the end zone on his first drive. Relatively unprecedented or uncontested. Dave T going to have to tighten up defensively. Uh, also, little thing for me, but something I, I think is worth at least looking at. How are they kicking the ball off? Uh, are they kicking to the right? Are they kicking left? Are they kicking short, deep? Uh, because I personally am terrible at special teams. I think this is David T's team. 20 Falcons, 20 Niners, 20 Seahawks. So a lot of these guys are using Moss, that new Israel Mukuma, Mukuma, how do you say that? And Wesley going to be in that dollar. And Wesley is using, I believe this is Pat Tillman right here. I actually talked about this in our school site. One of the patches about how good of a looper Pat Tillman is. You'll see he's going to loop a lot. And that was what really won him the game against Vos. Nice little aggressive catch from David. And I'm telling you, Wesley's switch stick is insane. Um, so no wonder why he wants to be in dollar. Dollar is, to me, the clear-cut defense. If you want a switch stick, you're going to be in dollar. And you're going to be sending four, typically, uh, switch sticking all over the field. So, And if you guys don't know what switch stick is, uh, basically he can switch on anybody on the field just by flicking his right joystick in the direction that he wants to switch to. So he can go from the linebacker to the corner, right? You'll see it. Boom, switch. Like he'll Wesley's gonna switch like a ton. Um, a ton, a ton, a ton. But David T, in my opinion, one of the best 
most systematic players rocking this wide off trips. Those do this a lot. This wild trip's nasty. Oh, that was an insane play by Wesley. <laughs> that almost lurked him. He tried to switch stick onto the flat defender and jump the RPO, and he almost got a pump with pick six. That was an insane switch stick. Let's see what old Dave's doing here. Second and ten. Probably not going to go back to that RPO. Let's see what he does. That is one of the best RPOs in the game, though. That RPO read flat out of a formation like this. Really, really effective. He's got a streak corner flat. I haven't seen this. Double seams. Corner out streak. Oh, my gosh. And you're seeing this, like, kind of cat and mouse game with the switch sticks. But Wesley is, he's switching. And he's switching to pick. He's switching for picks. He's not He's not worried about giving up a touchdown over the top. He's switching. He's trying to take that corner right away. So that'll be interesting to kind of see. There's a running back. That should be a free touchdown or at least a goal line situation where David T just got to punch this in. Again, I am a little biased to David T, but I do want to see him win this one. I like Wesley, too. I think Wesley and Fancy play very similarly uh, in terms of just they're very systematic players. All three of these guys, David, Wesley, Fancy, they're very uh, systematic and that they operate best off of a lot of reps, from what I've seen. Um, anyway, all right, let's get to the play here. Let's see, what are we doing? All right, red zone situation. He's got that RPO. He also is going to be audibling. Looks like he's going to go deuce close. David loves these RPOs. He's done this a lot this year in the red zone. He's going to throw a nice little RPO read flat wheel, and he is going to get into the end zone, and both of them – Pretty much went down the field well. I would say Wesley looked a little better um, on first drive, but they both got seven, which is what they needed to do. And now the game kind of shifts, if you will, to this end of half scenario that we're going to see how David and how Wesley play because, you know, there's probably one, maybe two possessions left in this half um, in terms of like Wesley's going to have one, David's going to have one potentially Wesley might have a third and that's going to be a lot about how these uh, we, you know, or, or Wesley might have a second. So we're trying to make sure David, if you're David, you want to be in half, either get a stop here or try to make sure that you're going in half 14 to 14. We don't want Wesley to have additional possessions. That's pretty good defense there. Checks it down to the flat and might take this down a quarter. See what he ends up doing. He can take this to the one. And you're seeing short side bunch, audible to trips, go to tight end in, put it, put it streak, snap the ball quick. There's that nice in route. And you'll see this very consistently from Wesley. And he is going to take it to the quarter. All right, Wesley in Lions. And David is in odd here. I don't know how he's getting these corners. I got to look at how he's setting this up. Less than five. Oh, nice read on that return route. Let's watch David when he comes out here. See if he's what he's doing with his safeties. Is he just walking them? No, that's show blitz, but he's clicking onto the corners. I don't know what he's doing with these corners to get them to go back like that. But this is not. This is that crossfire. So, gosh, is he doing that at a one four six? I it's. I think he's doing crossfire out of 146 is what it looks like because these guys are standing up. That's 146 crossfire. Look at this guy kind of standing just slightly this direction. So he's flipping crossfire. And that's a great read. That's a great read from Wesley. Good route combo. And that's actually huge for Wes because the time. David is going to get the ball back now with four minutes. It's pretty hard to clock at four. Um, you can clock if it's like three minutes. You know, you would like to get that ball back about three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds uh, to get a good end of half clock. David's kind of in a no man, a, a no win situation here because if he plays too conservative, he could risk giving Wesley the ball to get another possession lead on him to go up two. Uh, David does get ball at half here, but his touchdown could be neutralized because he could score too fast. There's just a lot of ways in which 
Wesley scoring fast there uh, really helped. It really, really helps him. So we'll kind of see what David's got for him on his second drive. He's got a whip route. Like this combo here, a little dig route, a little post. Got a drag. We're going to speed out here. There's that whip. There's that post. Got a high point it. Yeah, just kind of. Yeah. And that's what's hard this year. I'm telling you, this is why I think Dollar is the clear-cut best defense. Even though I like 3 through 5 odd and I like a lot of these defenses, what makes Dollar special is that the throwing windows are so tight and you can switch to so well. Um, so I, I don't know for sure, but it, it is looking like Wesley. Um, you know, if you watch these throwing lanes, they're just hard to hit. Corner route. See how he switch sticks there, takes that away, and then you're just dead. So Dave's going to have to dial something up here for this situation. This is third and ten. Kind of a, you know, you kind of need this drive. If you if you don't score on this drive, even if you scored three, like you should be in a position where you, can, you can't let this game get away from you because you have a big advantage in getting the ball at halftime. So this is a big down for David, and he's going to go with a speed out, a post, Little running back, kind of almost like a Durham setup. He's got the speed out. He misses it, but he oh, that's a great throw, and that's that's what David does with his pass leading his king of blue passing, has just mastered free form. David is probably the best free form passer in in the um, in the Madden space. Here you're gonna go to bunch Y flex dig return or looking for this probably the speed out corner streak. Let's see what he ends up calling. No smash return here. He's running a lot of posts over the middle, and honestly, I feel like that's pretty. There you see, there's Pat Tillman, and I'm telling you that Pat Tillman, he's short, he's agile, he's like the perfect blitzer for this cover six Willie type of defense, which is what Wesley's in. He's going to try to loop here and get this this basic pressure here. So, is David going to go with RPO? He can't go with RPO. This is too easy of a user. Yeah, he's not going to go RPO there. What is he going to do? He likes the streak corner flat. He can throw that streak. Wesley is baiting that streak so much, though. I'm telling you, Wesley switch stick, it's, it's up there. I mean, it's got to be top five switch stick in the world, I I would say. If you watch how, how many things he's taken away with his user is pretty pretty impressive. Yeah, this wild trip's nasty for David, too. Kind of the offense. He's got four strong. It's Basically, bunch strong nasty. It's just trips. I don't know why he run that though. I, I don't know what the real draw of this is. I haven't seen anything super special other than the RPO. The post. See, these are all hot routes. And then, oh, nice curl! Wow, <laughs> there you go. David stemmed up a curl about twenty yards <laughs> and just chucked it to him. And that's a good read. I mean, it sits in the soft spot of the zones, I guess. Probably got a short post out of PA double post. He's wanting to call this RPO, I bet you. And he's gonna, gonna, gonna catch him. There it is. That's a huge touchdown. That's a huge touchdown. He caught him because Wesley, remember, when David ran that last, Wesley almost pick sixed him. David caught him moving his people's, some people around and just quick hike that RPO. You see how good of an RPO that is. And now we have two minutes in the second quarter. Uh, this is a big drive for Wesley. If you're David, you're really trying to hold the three or get a stop. If you can keep him out of the end zone, it's a huge advantage to you because you get the ball out of half. So this is a very big drive for David's defense, defensively and for Wesley offensively, and that is not what you want. You don't want to give that kick return there because now Wesley only has to go about 50 yards. It does look like he's gonna be in the he is in this double safety go. And this is out of one four six. This is out of one four six too. See, this is three three five odd show blitz, but look what he's doing in these corners. I don't know how they're getting him how he's staying getting him to stay back like that. He reads I don't know. And they're not always staying back. Like this guy stays, but the other guy doesn't. I don't know. Anyway, a little drag. The yellow zones don't, don't really cover anything in this game. You have to put them on five, which then messes up a lot of stuff defensively. See here, the, now we're going all over the place. He gets lucky getting that two-minute warning. 
Damon is probably going to have to use a timeout. Notice both these guys haven't used any timeouts yet. So there's a lot of stuff going on with this in a half scenario. This is this in a half scenario is very, very big right now. They both there's a lot riding on how this plays out here. There it is. Okay, we get him on a third down. Now we get him on a third and eight. And this is where we need David to be great. We need to get a stop here. If David can get a stop here, it just really, really helps him. Um help helps him get in, in in front of the game. A little whip route here. Good read from Wesley. David's trying to switch stick it. Doesn't. Even if he can hold him to three, I'm telling you, even if he can hold him to three, if you can get in front of this game a little bit, uh, it's a significant advantage. Motion post for Wesley. The combo that keeps on giving two streaks, a return route and a post. Good user. Ah, he just left it, though. Got to kind of stay on that route. It's a good read. And David's got a good switch stick, too. I, I think David uh, does a good – He his switch stick is very um, – he tries to basically take the window away and then go guard something else. And so you saw where Wesley just stayed on it and was able to kind of – able to kind of take – or able to kind of, you know, get it open that way. We'll return right again. Just hard to use or anything. That's a great – Wesley's got a – yeah, there's a lot open there. I think the zig was open, the drag was open, and then just get the pressure. That's why you got to have a blitz. Every defense has to have the ability to get pressure. All right, we got a short corner, probably a streak post. Yep, yep. Kind of a standard combo this year. Oh, he swatch stick. He got it. That's a pick. That's huge. What is Wesley throwing? Like, legitimately, what is this throw? Are they going to replay this? I don't know what he's throwing because he, he didn't even need to switch stick it. This is just a terrible read. Like, what do you see here? Look at this. What do you see? He, look at this. Open, open, open. What is? Let's throw to the. Ah, this is a terrible read. I don't know what he's trying to throw. Did not work out for him, and this is huge for David. If you're David, field goal is fine. You want seven, but a field goal is fine. You don't want to give Wesley the ball back. Uh, the biggest thing here is. Wesley cannot have another chance to score. Uh, that is huge. Unless he just gives you a touchdown. You can't give Wesley the ball back. Um, it's too critical. This end of half scenario is too critical. And we've got a post and just nothing open. Throw it away. David got the stop he needed, but now he needs to capitalize on it. Even a field goal. The biggest thing here is you just cannot give Wesley the ball back. And give him a chance to score before half. You've got to maximize that in the half scenario. That's probably the reason for the RPO there. Just trying to get a, maybe a cheap first down. Not able to do so. Third and eight. Um, kind of a big down. This is a huge down. Ah, I wish you would have called that RPO on first down maybe. I don't know. You got to get you got to get this. This is a big play. He's going to be in a position where he's going to probably have to go for it if he doesn't get it. Which is Which is not good. Uh, we got corner out. Gotta throw that. Gotta throw that. Oh my gosh! Look at that and see how good Wesley's switch stick is. It's just that's how Madden twenty five is, guys. He switch stick it perfectly. He just can't animate, and that's what high balls are. I mean, it. That's just terrible. I mean, David honestly had a touchdown, missed the read, threw the corner right at him. That should have probably been a switch stick pick. Instead, it's a first and ten ball on thirty yard line. We're trying to get three points out of this. David's doing a lot of pass pro here. Uh, he's going to throw that. He's got him. He's got him over the top. And there you go. Very good read by David. Wesley has been playing with fire a lot on the switch stick. One of the things that David wisely does is he almost, I would bet you, he almost stared that, that streak down because he knew that Wesley was going to bite with that deep zone. Give that streak a window to be able to get hit over the top. 21 to 14. Massive for David T. And now Wesley is, is honestly up against it here. We'll see what Wesley has for him. Uh Wesley needs to score. He needs he needs a field goal on this. Um you, you don't want to go you don't really want to go down because David gets ball at half. So oh my gosh, he had the streak too and he missed it. That streak, guys, if you're watching this. This streak out of trips is always open. 
I mean, it has been open so much against these press alignments. Going to go to bunch. Going to go 14 different wheel routes. I was not sure why he's going to call this play. Oh, okay, so we're going to try to hit that tight end up in that seam. And good. Yeah, and that's what, you know, honestly, David, it's fine. And even if he gets three, you're, in a, you're still fine. You're not, you're in a great position. You got your stop you needed. You, you know, just keep, you know, keep kind of making him work. You can't give him a free touchdown. This is a critical thing. Again, this trip thing, it's been open all game. You've got to get this. This streak cannot be a touchdown. This streak cannot be a touchdown. And that's fine. He's going to have to dive down. He's going to have to take his three. Oh, we got a tackle. Okay. He's going to have to dive down, take his three, 17-21. David T's lead and David T's ball at halftime. Great first half of football by David T. Our boys, second half is underway. David T on offense has a chance to be able to take a lot of control over this game here if he can get points on this drive. It's a huge drive in the game. Wesley going to be giving him his best shot defensively. And uh, we'll see what what uh, what Dave's got cooking here. This wild trip's nasty. Really haven't seen this ran much. Kind of an off mid offense and kind of working. So we'll see. We know that Wesley's going to be in that cover six. Will he here potentially edge blitz? It is edge blitz. There's that corner route. There's that post. Great read with that post over the middle of the field. And David T got kind of a little some some spacing concepts, some post corner concepts and just run the ball here really wise decision and and Wesley just give them basically a free 15 yards if you're David T here high percentage plays let's get a touchdown if we get a touchdown it really changes this game uh if you get a field goal it it's it's okay but it's definitely not what you want and the reason why is because it makes it it, it doesn't change the scenario but if he gets a touchdown that's a two-possession game. He's in control of the game at that point. Uh, Wesley doesn't just have, you know, he can't just answer with a touchdown. He's got to answer with a touchdown and a stop. So um, this is a, a huge deal. Huge second and one call. Goes to that RPO. Honestly, probably should have been stopped there. Some good stick skill. Able to get out of there and kind of bump around and uh, and get the first down. Ball about the 24-yard line. Three minutes left. In the third quarter, if you're David T, again, high percentage plays, make Wesley have to stop. This inside zone, to me, looks completely free. Uh, I, would, I would probably try an inside zone here. He's going to look like check. He is going to check to that inside zone. Look at that block in that inside zone. I mean, you could drive. You could literally drive a truck through that. Second and two, to me, this is a rundown. Reason why, and that's why I like David a lot, just more methodical, very methodical offensively. To me, this is a rundown. Uh, make him stop it uh, because you're still in a third and one. You're still in an advantageous situation. He does go to that RPO. He's going to throw that RPO. He's going to get a touchdown. And my man David T is up two possessions against Wesley. Wesley, uh, I think, is the second highest MCS earner of all time right behind Henry. And those two have gone head-to-head -head multiple times in the last three years. David T is handling him right now. So, and I really like David T's chances against Lambo in the next game. If he can finish this out, got to win the game right in front of you. Wesley, um, again, this is where things start to become a factor. If you just kind of mathematically here, Wesley's probably, if he scores a touchdown, assuming David doesn't play terrible defense, probably going to take him at least two to three minutes. So we're probably looking at three possessions left in this game. Two for Wesley, one for David T. What happens on those possessions to me are um, obviously ultimately going to decide this. So this audible to trips. David T is now in the odd. Ten and four. Good defense from David. A sack. Basically a sack. Got a couple yards because of good pocket. Second and eight situation. I would like to see, I don't know if this would work, but the way that Wesley, a lot of people kind of, let's just see what he does. He's got these corners back. I want to know how he's doing that. Cover four. I like that. The, the David T is in a position right now defensively. Just keep everything in front of you. 
Make him have to throw those mid-range, mid-range shots. Don't give him those layups. Don't give him those three-point, one-play touchdown big plays. Make him drive the ball up the field and make him do it consistently with good switch stick, with good adjustments, but don't leave yourself isolated where you can give him a 50-yard chunk on a corner. Don't love that. All right, here we go. We're going to see. Got it. Almost always going to be sending this linebacker, I will say. Good switch stick. Oh, he left it. He had it. Oh, if he stays on that, that's a pick. and That's, that's it. All right, Dave's all over him right now. Wesley is clutch. Wesley's going to do. Wesley's not going to go away. You know Wesley's going to fight. You know Wesley's going to put a drive together. Got to kind of be prepared for that, uh, which means David's going to need one more, probably at least one more drive offensively to win this game. Unless you do that, oh, my goodness gracious, watch this play. Look at this. He switched six here. He has to stay on the streak or it's a touchdown, right? This is a hard flat. And now you'll see see how I'm not even, I don't know, probably a hard flat. Um, he carries him here. Now watch what David does. Watch this. He sees this. He sees this. He bails on this completely because you can't, this is like an awkward throw. It's hard to throw this. He bails completely over here. Sack is coming. Look at this. Wesley just happens to throw it. And David, just enough speed, just enough speed, picks the ball off. Takes the ball away, and Wesley is saying, wow. Now you run the ball. Inside zone, make him stop it. That honestly could have been a lot more yardage right there. Look at this. This is an amazing play. He stays on it, and then just perfect timing, man. Just gets there. What a play by David T. And that's what I'm talking about with his user skill, his switch sticking. Super good. Can he finish this game? Second and eight. We've got an out right over here. I throw this out route. Throw this out route. Oh, just throw it. And there's that post. I haven't seen Wesley really switch stick those speed outs. And I think I really think David's running this probably for the spacing of the formation. The RPO's good. I don't I don't know. I'd love to know why. I'm gonna ask him why he's running this offense specifically. But this this Y off trips, and I believe this is in run and gun playbook. I don't think this is this isn't like a formation in Lions. This is like a you have to go to the playbook for the formation type of deal. This is either Chiefs or run and gun. Uh, I just haven't really kind of seen the other formations a ton in this to know for sure. It's probably Chiefs. There are some people that are switching to Chiefs. Uh, not for this. They're actually doing it for the bunch X nasty. Wesley changes defenses, goes to double mug. This is automatic inside zone, and that's right there. It's exactly why almost broke the touchdown. You go right back to inside zone here. Second and two, this has to be a run. Second and two, 100% a rundown in this situation. For David T, honestly, you go down, you get a field goal. The game is all but over. Don't even need a touchdown here. Um, obviously, you know, it's not completely over, but you're in a really, really good situation. If you get seven here, you're in a great, so even better situation, of course, but you've got to take this clock. I don't love the pass here because so much can just go wrong. But good read, takes the drag. I would have rather an inside zone there, but that's why he's there and I'm not. Lambo will face the winner of this matchup. And Lambo's defense is, is, is interesting. It's basically send six man coverage. So here we go. I'll tell you, man, nobody thought David T. Would, would, would have a shot at this game. Nobody thought he would have a shot at this game. All right, here we go. Five minutes to glory. Can David T. get this done? Now we're in, I think we're still in dumb mug. This, to me, is inside zone again. I think you go inside zone again here. Get the clock going. Yep, uh, inside zone. See, the, the blocking on the RPO and the run handoff is a little different than the blocking on inside zone. It's crazy. I just don't know why you run this formation. Like, other than the RPO and the... I feel like he's hot riding almost everything. The spacing is kind of cool. It's basically just four strong U-trips. Without the U-trips routes. 
tight end post. Corner route to the right side. Gonna throw that tight end post. He loves that tight end post. I'm kind of surprised that tight end post is getting in, getting so open. And this the thing about David T is he doesn't lose like he doesn't lose games that he's a he's in this situation normally. Like he he normally just manages these situations really well. He had the RPO there. I don't know if Wesley was actually super biting down on this. See, he has a bunch of strong nasty, a bunch of flex. I want to say he's in Chiefs. I'm most positive he's in Chiefs. Because he has a bunch. Yeah, he has a bunch of X nasty. He's in Chiefs. He's definitely in Chiefs. Otherwise, he's got some glitch formation that I don't know about. Post on the left side. See, again, this is literally all hot routes. The snap. R1. Throw away. Throw away. And that's where second 11, you know, that bad run on first down. Now you're a little bit of a dice situation, but you're honestly fine. You got a field goal. That's what you really wanted out of this drive. And now to me, you got to pass here, but you don't want to nothing. You can't just like give him a free stop. So and I think he's up 11. So he's still up two possessions either way. We'll throw that out route. Oh, no. I think he still can make that. That's that to me was what you didn't really want is you didn't want a sack, but I don't think it takes you out of field goal range. Jason Elam, best field goal kicker in the game, the team captain. I actually really like that's one of the things I love about the game this year. It's a little thing, but I love that this kicker is a team captain and you can just have the best kicker, rank him all the way up, and there you go. I, I actually really like that about this game. Able to get that 31 to 17. And now Wesley on a stay alive drive. Here we go. 3-3 three, three odd. We see that. Um, yeah, the way they're moving, ah, it's just hard to tell. But look how open the seam is. Corner out. Tried to undercut it. Hey, it gets a favorable animation. Second and 10. Go. Kind of interesting to watch what Wesley's going to do here, too. I think Wesley knows, like, he's in a real bad spot. And there's enough pressure. Now he's got a scramble. That's dicey. If there's one thing you want to give up, it's that scramble up the middle because there's so many fumbles. Now, here, this has been a problem all game. Watch this left side. Watch this fade. Able to play it. Return route. Just. Biggest thing for David is keep him in the middle. And this is this is honestly what you want. Because now he's got to go to a two-minute warning pretty much. He's got one more play of the two-minute warning. Three timeouts. You know, if he's, you know, Lambo got an onside kick. So we'll see what Wesley's able to do. Um, but really, David, you just got to, you know, he knows this. And he's playing like this. But you just really got to keep everything in front of you here. No one-play touchdown type stuff. He's trying to go for it here with this motion, motion, uh, it's a motion HB choice play, I want to say. Yeah. Now, Wesley is in Lions. Short side bunch, audible to trips. Go motion post. Gonna go with this. Watch this streak on the left side. Yeah, the streak won. I'm surprised he didn't throw it. That streak wins a lot. That's one of my big takeaways from this game. That streak on the outside. I hardly ever throw that. Honestly, I feel like in these kind of situations, you get in dollar and you just contain everything. But this blitz is good. Oh, he almost got him again. Ah, see, and that's where it's like, oh, let's switch to pick. And he scores. And now you're in a weird position. I think it's interesting that Wesley goes for two here. So that what Wesley's doing here is... In my, I don't know exactly why you do this, but it's essentially putting a lot more pressure on David if he gets this two-point conversion. He's going to run it for the bread. He's going to get it. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, that's insane that he didn't get that. That's kind of a silly dive. Are you on side here? I don't think Lambo did and Lambo got it. I don't think you can afford to onside here. I don't think you can afford to onside here because he needs like two yards and then if he kicks field goal, game's over. I don't know that you can afford to onside. I think you got to kick this deep. 
David needs basically one, one maybe two first downs to win this game. Wesley has not shown an ability to really stop the inside zone. I like that dive down. I'm trying to think if I'm David. You probably go for it on fourth, too, so that you can get the ball back. I don't think you start out with the RPO, though. Yeah, he's going to. He's going to throw it. Oh, my gosh. He can't throw that. He can't throw that. He's been sitting on that all game. Is he, He's got to be highballing that or something, and he just knows you. But that was, ah, you can't throw that. Read. Mesh. David's kind of, David's kind of playing a little tight here. Need something here. Third and five. Just need one first down, man. Come on. Just one first down. I like this combo. Streak, streak. Oh, he's open. It's open. Throw, 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 throw. Yep. Got him. Very good. David T. Going to the finals of the Unstoppable Challenge. Will face No Mercy Lambo for his first belt game. Wesley taking off the headsets. My guy, David T. Really, really pumped for him. His site that he posts on is hotroute.tips. My site is uh, school.com slash Cody Bauer if you want to check that out. Why did he do that? He's going to take a sack. Forty seconds, third and seventeen. This is pretty much it. David T gonna get it done. Everybody picked Wesley, not just for this event, not just for this game, but for this tournament. Everybody picked Wesley. David T is consistent. He gets better every year. He gets better every tournament. Super excited for him. We're gonna see what he can do against Lambo. I think he's got a good shot. I think he's got a real good shot against Lambeau. And he is going to let this clock tick, tick, tick. I think he might be in a position where he does have to. I think, honestly, you kneel the ball. Um, or is he going to be able to completely get it clocked out? He's not. One second. I guess you punt the ball out of bounds. Or you kneel it. Probably punt. He's going to run it one conservative, looks like. Um Man, super excited for him. Super excited for him. And I'll put uh, I'll put the sites, uh, his site down down in the description. A little run play. There it is. David T defeats Wesley. We'll play Lambo in the finals for the Unstoppable Challenge.